There was no deal. No question. He wanted to come because he's a military brat. And, and a lot of his success, a great deal of his success, is due to the military. The reason that I came, you don't have to be a Rhodes Scholar to figure this out. We talk about heroes, and there's some heroes and sheroes, and they're in the military. I've been in 90 countries in the world, all over the world. Every time I got back, I wanted to kneel down and kiss the tarmac and say, God bless America. Now, we would not know. You're out here in the middle of the prairies, by the way. I helped build this place <laughs> in 1955 or 56. They were breaking ground out here, and I came from a very poor family. I was abandoned two days before I was born by a father that left a mother and I. And we were, she was on welfare and babysat and was a domestic, 50 cents an hour. And I had to get all kinds of jobs. Well, I came to this base and did construction work. I never did anything. <laughs> the job I had was a sack. But the reason I'm here today, and that he came instantly, is because of what kind of people you are. Briefly, and then it's his show from there on in. There are seven billion people living in the world right now. It's the most numbers in the history of the world. All seven billion of us. There's not one person in this audience, or there's not one person in the world, that says they want to be successful. But how do you become, how do you become successful and capture happiness also, just not successful. All seven billion of us have to negotiate over four hurdles. You can't buy your way over them, you can't con your way over them, you can't lie your way over them, you can't run around them, you can't, you gotta jump over them. When you, we all come out, when they snip our umbilical cords, we come out of the blocks pretty even, and now we're all gonna face four hurdles. If we successfully negotiate over these four hurdles, we will find peace, love, happiness, and success. Her number one, being told you can't do something. You can never make it. You're from Nebraska. You can never be a colonel. You gotta work in the cornfield. Uh, you can't do it because you're black. You can't do it because you're a woman. You can't do it because you're from Vietnam. Blah, blah, I can't. I think of one story. Whenever I've ever had a hurdle, I think of two people, but I won't even talk about one. Here's a perfect example of somebody that was told he can. I went to a military base in Villefle. I finished my lecture, I get a tap on the shoulder, I turn around, here's this young man about 6'9", 250, kind of shy, and said, Coach Brown, I will be trying out for the military base here. And he said, I can't dunk a ball. And he said, I run up and down the court about three, four times in my lower extremities. I say, damn, lower <laughs> extremities. 